Welcome back, guys. We're here again. I had to take a little bit of a like a one or two day break there because where I work, everybody got COVID. So it's been a nutty, nutty week. Um, I'm fine, of course. Um, nothing going on with me. I'm one of the lucky ones. Could be a lot worse. But nevertheless, it did take me away from doing videos for a couple of days there. Um, after I had just got done saying, I'm going to crank it up a notch. We're going to do videos all day, every day. But anyway, you guys, we're going to get right into this. Not keep the intro, not make the intro too long. Thank you guys for tuning in again. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment down below on what you like to see. Um, and I'll keep these cranked out for you guys as fast as I possibly can, barring any outside influences. Without further ado, Assassin's Creed Valhalla Part 5. Okay, so Kitty Becking from the last episode, we were upgrading our Ravensthorpes, our new our new uh, settlement. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's stall or off a table somewhere. And I've you done a lot of work. From where you stood. They stand out clearly from the to soil it. and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. I've also purchased a bunch of Helix items from the store. How I'm wearing the Draugr armor set. My family were hunters and trackers from further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings, bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned, a babe in the woods. We took him in. Spoiler alert, the Draugr the set is awesome. They're in the area. Those trails, they must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So this quest that we're in right now is what you have so to do family found Wallace once you upgrade the, the hunting the fort when I spotted a white at your base. Ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So doing this is going to allow me later on to so you saw a fight elk. prized beasts and, you and hang their heads That's in my right. longhouse. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Right now we're tracking wolves. Because this lady Petra is afraid that they're going to kill all the deer in the area and then turn to us. I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. She should be following me, let's be honest. As you can see, I've also upgraded my weapon arsenal as well. It's a little more impressive than it was before. Again, this is just me wanting to show you guys what is possible in this game. 
without again making you have to wait video after video after video after video. I am a self-aware man and I know that I had to start this a little bit later than some of your uh, other options. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Let's see what this out of breath guy's gotta say. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? Frowning sorry, Jesus. Father. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? Uh oh. Oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, Some big beast's gonna come out of nowhere? This is grand, Abel. Oh, okay. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Avor. See you soon. This was a joy, Petra. I'm so polite to everybody. So anyway, let's take a quick look at what I've done here. So as you can see on the map, I've done a lot of exploring. I still have more to do. Um, again, leave in the comments if you guys want me to do this in these videos. I do a little bit, but I don't want to get too off the beaten path. Um, from the main quest, which we're going to do the next main quest mission next, by the way. Um, but I want to show you my inventory. So, as I said, I bought a bunch of stuff from the Helix store. Um, I spent about 66 or 6400, something like that, Helix points. Um, I don't know, 6300, excuse me, I have 300 left. Um, and this is the Draugr set. And it is super dope. Check the helmet out with the green glowing all over it. This is the shield that goes with it. It's called the Hero Service Scale. I'm totally butchering that. But I also added this too. This is something I added to the game, full disclosure. Um, I did add this via a mod because normally you can't get this spear until very end game or after you've actually beaten the full game. Um, and I don't want to make you guys wait that long. Um, I wanted you guys to see some of this stuff. And I think it'll be a lot of fun going through the game with this. Um, and I also have the one and only Excalibur. So what we're gonna do now Actually, let's go back here. I'm gonna wield Excalibur there. And I'm gonna wield Gungner, Odin's spear, here. Hide this back. And we are ready to go, boys. Again, I want to make this playthrough enjoyable, I guess you could say, for you guys. Um, and entertaining, you know, me sitting there trying to fight everything and do this and that, and, um, take a little bit more time away from the actual meat and potatoes. I don't want to do not this late into the fray. So now I'm going to call my new Draugr horse. And we're going to head back to the docks in our settlement. And we're going to join Sigurd in the next main quest. Get back on to the story. If you guys want me to do 
a separate video on any of the Helix sets. Just kind of give a quick overview of them. Let me know in the comments. I will do that for you guys. I don't want to do it too much, as I said before, in this, because I don't want to get away from the meat and potatoes of what this video is supposed really to be about. Lighting can compare to sagas, to true poetry. But let me know. Alas, we are at the docks. Get off. Thank you. Look at this, though. Look at this horse. I mean, that is sick. Sick, sick, sick. Oh, hey. What's up, guys? Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh, maybe we're not going to go on the boat just yet. Oh, dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. Miss more of that tea. Accelerating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. That looks sick. Look at that. <laughs> in spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. All right, hmm. so... Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees and the water and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. I forgot that we had a visitor show up and it was her. We had to meet her at the docks first. God, Zepho, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. <laughs> <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Well, that's a good sign. Is that the settlement is pretty see? sweet, though. What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? <laughs> That'd be me for I real. Reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. She's like a psychiatrist on steroids. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. Yeah, who is that guy? You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save that clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. We just again we take a second to admire the surroundings. Holy moly. Well, put it down. There. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. 
Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. The dark hair on Ivor is growing on me. Also, I'm very intrigued. I'm not going to wait. Give me those visions. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. And to love them more nearly. Release Firefly. Oh, I don't have any fireflies. There we go. What are we picking up? Thistle. Collect a thistle. How much thistle do you need? That enough? Hold on, maybe I have to pick this quest as my main one to see more. Uh, yeah, collect the plants for Valka's potion. There we go. We need five. That's better. Whoa. What's behind there? All right. Thistle, thistle, thistle. Oh, I guess we have to go behind here, huh? No? It all says thistle is there, but... Survey the area, Sunan. That's why she's making me do this. She doesn't want to do any of the dirty work. All right, we're going to look up here on the top. Here's some more. Go across this waterfall here. Don't fall. One more. There we go. There's a bunch up here. See, when you use that at the bottom, it looked like it was all behind that little crevice. There we go. I wonder if we could jump off the waterfall. Ooh. I'm surprised it didn't hurt me. It's not as deep as I was hoping it was going to be. Valka, I'm home. I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey. Into another time, another plane. Woosa. Uh, 
Oh, she getting a big batch of that good, good ready. The and elixir is some ready. Spit. <laughs> it will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the nine worlds. Hmm. I don't know about this. Should we drink it? Last time we drank her stuff, we were doing all kinds of weird stuff. I guess we're this far. Drink the potion. Blech. I didn't fall over this time. Rock a bye, Ivor. Whoa, okay. This is a lot more, I don't even know what you'd call the word. This is cool. I wonder where we're going. Valhalla, Asgard maybe? That would be so sweet. Uh, okay. That's gotta be the Bifrost, right? The Rainbow Bridge? I've watched plenty of Marvel movies and read enough comics to know what that is. I didn't actually really think Asgard was going to be in this game. Just kind of a guess because Odyssey had Atlantis in it. The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. <laughs> the Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with ghoul. It will be an age of storms, an age of wolves. So why am I sitting in the Not tower? This. Further along, the foretelling of a wolf, a great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part. What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Man is bound by destiny. Fate can be altered. Life is what you make of it. Let's do this, because we said this earlier. We said that we could... Odin changed his fate, and we could too. Let's stick with that. You three spin our destinies as a thread in fabric. But threads may be unraveled by snags and catches. Not all can be foreseen. But loose threads can be rewoven or restrung. At day's end, the tapestry will be preserved. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the wolf. I am eternal. Oh, I see. I'm not actually Ivor. I'm Javi. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? Okay, so I can't pretend like I'm not a little lost. Oh, we're still here. Oh, 
I thought we were going to phase out of a dream state or something. I want to jump off this tower. Holy cow. We're actually in Asgard. This is so cool. Before I jump off the tower, though, I want to make sure I'm not leaving anything. I don't really want to step in that, though. That's probably a portal back. All right. So, what? oh, yeah, see? What is this? I'm Dill's report. Javi. The attacks grow more fierce, and I must venture from my tower. What I hear with my hidden ear worries me, and now I must see it with my eyes. I beg you, once again, to assign me a serious apprentice. Loki clearly resents his role as gatekeeper and bristles at the lightest of requests. He will need some supervision in my absence. Not that he can do much harm without my key, but the wards have been weakened and he would be next to useless against a full Jotnar assault. Best that he be reassigned or expelled from Asgard altogether, despite whatever fool's bargain you struck. I swear he will be the death of me. So we got Loki in here somewhere, too. In this game, I mean. All right. Let's go. Hope I don't die. Woo! <laughs> yes. That's that spicy spice. All right. Uh, a strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of certain death. Who crushed the skull of Thrym? Tear sounds like. Ooh, that's Thor. With a flaming... One of them sounded like Seeger. We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight. We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four. What to is going on? Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. Thor, Lord of Thunder. Tia, Keeper of Justice. Rhea, Queen of Asgard. Uh, shoot. What if this decision affects me? Oh well, I'm gonna go with Tyr because he sounds like Sigurd. I need only one. You, Tyr, Lord of Justice. We'll gather our forces and scatter the enemy like grains. <clears throat> yes, I will fight as a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. The rest of you. Stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door. Warn the others. The fight begins. I'm with you, Abby. Let's deal out some punishment. 
All right, here we go. We're about to have a battle in Asgard. I did not expect this to happen at all. I was trying to get some enlightenment and a vision. Next thing you know, I'm having a war. It is time to crush. This is pretty sweet, though. Not gonna lie. Warriors with me. The rest of you got the great hall. It's a lot of stairs. The B frost. With me, I was saying, we're just gonna go. Let's to do myself. it. This is awesome. <laughs> and they're way down here, too. They cloud our senses with enchantments, kill them, and the illusions die. You gotta be in good shape to be. A warrior in here. It's like a three mile run just to get to the enemy. Blood for Asgard. Say hello to Jordmungunda. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Let's uh, let's put a shield back on. Every time I go to dual wield, I just put a shield back on. It's like what I'm comfortable with. up these weaklings. Not really a match for Excalibur, are they? Let's keep pushing this way. You can get really caught up in these battles and just keep fighting enemies over and over again. Oh. There we go. Oh, death on parry. You get. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Thor? I should have brought you the first place. You break too easily. Holy crap. All right. Well, that was easy work. I'm astonished the flow of potatoes. Hey, block, block, block. Punch this big dude. Whoop.
I can't wait to unlock more abilities. This is a combat is so sweet. Oh, hey, okay. I forgot we can do that. Close the door. Oh, uh, Jotunheim. Okay. The realm of the frost trolls. Because we all know that Loki's an asshole. What's that? You've done us no favors, either, Jotun. Wait, no. You, you're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was... Uh, uh. Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade. Shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? It's like Would you guard this portal, Loki? What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. So are we supposed to take direct correlation from these characters what is your name? to the ones in the quote-unquote real world? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Are you with the Giants? What can you offer? Why are you here? Well, he's already said he wasn't with the Giants, so let's ask him why he's here. Why have you come to Asgard? To bore my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. I don't trust you, Loki. Right, Are you a gift horse or a secret curse? Neither, I one. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Your arrival is suspicious, yeah? It is. Walls have failed us. What is your price? Uh, I'm going to question him some more. You're right. Your arrival is suspicious. Quite a coincidence that you came when you did. At the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Ulf. What do you know of our sacred well? You it's probably told him. It's a of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no, it's no trouble, Avi. The damp and the dark appeal to me. What are you up to? Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. See? An interesting offer. A curious coincidence.
I don't trust this guy at all. Okay, so let's take a look at our quests here real quick because it just said we can return to England if we wanted to. Um, meet Sigurd in dreams. A builder promises protection from Asgard's enemies from water for water from the well of Urd. Reach the well of Urdor. All right, I think I'm going to actually head back for now. We'll explore Asgard a little bit later on in the game. I kind of feel like this is like an end game activity almost. So how did it say we can get back to England? Wake up. There we go. Okay. And I'm assuming we just visit the lady again. To come back here. Okay, so yeah, we wake up right where we were, and... Yes, the fog cleared suddenly. I can speak of what I've seen, but I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will, when I'm ready. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So, upgrading her hut allows us to go to Asgard at will. That is definitely awesome. I think we'll do that after we do a couple more main quests. We'll return here and do that again. In the meantime, let's go to the quest manual. Let's go here. There we go. Oh, he is a long ways off, isn't he? He's way up there. Drink and return to Asgard. Don't want to do that. All right, sweet. Okay, so I think for this video, that's where I'm going to end it. Um, and then in the next video, we will do a couple of main quests. And then we're going to head back to Asgard. I think that sounds like a pretty good plan. This game is so big, you can easily get pulled in so many directions. So you kind of got to make a plan or you're going to get lost in it all, which is awesome. I'm really enjoying this game. So yeah, anyways, if you guys like this video, subscribe in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see more of. If you want me just to bang out the Asgard scenarios until the very end, let me know. If you want me to keep going on the main quests, or stick to the plan that I just laid out a moment ago. Let me know. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.